A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens. So that when it happens, you may believe the gospel of the Lord. Praise to God. What a beautiful responsorial psalm today. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, verse 24. At this Mass, our readings help us to reflect on unity and peace. Unity and peace. In the words of Patrick Henry, one of the founding fathers of the United States of America, united we stand, divided we fall. It is said, in unity is strength. And in the words of Gail Jackson, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. As citizens of a nation, we are shaped by our nationality, culture, and constitution. As Christians, we are shaped by our faith in God, practices, and church traditions. In singing the patriotic song, God Bless America, the song ends with the words, God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Yes, home, sweet home. Four days before Jesus' ascension into heaven, our home, sweet home, the new Jerusalem. In today's gospel, Jesus gives his disciples and us the promise of the Holy Spirit, as well as his farewell gift of peace, which signified the restoration of harmonious relations between God and humankind, but also a bond of unity among us as Christians, the people of God. In the second reading, from the book of Revelation, the gates of the new Jerusalem open in all four directions, north, south, east, and west, indicating that heaven, our home, sweet home, is open to all people without segregation. All of us have different tastes and preferences 
likes and dislikes, gifts and talents. Sometimes within a family, you know, the children want to watch a certain TV show, mom and dad want to watch another channel, and now, you know, sometimes the remote control stores around everywhere. Who is going to change the channel, right? And sometimes in a family, we all need to make the necessary adjustments, accommodations for all these tastes and preferences sometimes. I know someone who eats banana by dipping it in sugar. Eating banana by dipping it in sugar. Can you imagine that? The beauty of the world lies in the diversity of its people. In the words of Lucky Dubé, a reggae musician, we are different colors, one people. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles is a good example of the activity of the Holy Spirit in the life of the early church. The danger of rapture within the early church is overcome by peaceful agreement between Jew and Gentile Christians. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord. In our world today, many hearts are troubled and afraid because of war, violence, persecution, and hatred. At this Holy Eucharist, we pray that the peace of Christ, the Prince of Peace, will reign in our homes, our country, and in the world. And that the Lord will make each and every one of us instruments of his peace and unity. So that we can say, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me.